Greetings, Earl of Black Light. Go captain today's session off with uh, some scenes from Spook who sat by the door and then the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. when the first and second in command are either killed or captured. Daddy? Each man is trained to handle positions three steps ahead of him in grade. The operations officer moves up and takes command, and everyone else moves up two grades. Good. Now, we're almost ready. We ain't no junkies. Now and everybody gonna think you are. You put needle marks in your arms and you keep them fresh. And no pig is gonna bust you for the things that we'll be doing as long as you got those tracks. That's really hip, man. During the daytime, we be nodding. Nighttime, we get out there and do it. We are gonna get our own. Stop begging for crumbs. Oh. What we got now is a colony. But what we want to create is a new nation. In order to do that, we got to pay a different kind of dues. Freedom dues. Now, according to Mr. Charlie, we have never paid any dues. You dig those plantation movies on television? Yeah. No chains. No whips. Yeah. Bunch of happy darkies just waiting on Master Charlie and his family and digging. Digging. Yeah. Like it's fun. Like it's fun. Lordy, 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 Free, Master? Is that bad, Master? I go on with that? You're free, George. You can leave the plantation. <laughs> I'll yeah. stay with you. But I can't pay you, George. The oh. carpet baggers mortgage the plantation. Oh, don't let that worry you none. Well, I wouldn't know what to do with no money. <laughs> and don't let that mortuary thing worry you either. Everything's gonna be all right. Bless you, George. George, sit down, George. Oh, master. <laughs> master. talking about this very unique proposition of yours as expressed in the message to the black man and of course in all your philosophy it's interesting to note that abraham lincoln once proposed or thought that all negroes perhaps for their own best interest should be moved to a separate state and garvey a great leader of the negroes many many years ago proposed that the negroes have their own state it was never too successful and if i remember correctly the communists in the early 30s at the height of the depression urged that the Negroes be given their own state in an effort to capitalize on their following, I presume. None of these ever came to fruition or were ever successful or ever interested too many Negroes. How do you figure that you today can get Negroes to leave this country of theirs and go elsewhere? Well, I will not uh, have any power to do, I don't have any power to do any more than those uh, teachers that uh, preceded me on the same subject. Uh, I, I myself don't have any power of myself to, to bring about such change. But God is with me to bring it about. How and has, the time is with me. How has your God, Allah, 
manifested himself in this presentation. He have manifested himself in the person of a man and with the uh, knowledge of the end of the history that we has been in, in service to white people and uh, the time uh, that we should be uh, separated from them. This knowledge was given by him. And uh, he is the one that is backing it up. It is not uh, me. I don't want you to look at me as nothing but a messenger. That's all I am, just a messenger to tell you what someone said to me. This law that I have said to you concerning the separation, it is not, say, contrary to prophecy. Uh, the sayings of the prophets concerning a separation of the slave and his master. It is not contrary. But where I comes in at there, I'm asking you if you would like to do something for yourself in admitting uh, this uh, justice from yourself, as this is nothing but justice, to give the slave something uh, to go with if you have uh, freedom. Uh, that America has never done for us. Our parents was never given anything to cool for self. Now, the time have come that God himself will intervene to separate the so-called Negro or the lost uh, members of the people, the black nation of the earth, uh, from their what slave masters. This is the time, according to to the prophetic, uh, prophetic saints and writings of prophets that we must be separated. I uh, just want to ask you one question along the separation theory before we move on. There are approximately 22 million Negroes in the United States. Yes. There's an estimated 100,000 members of these who belong to your sect. Now, how can you expect 100,000 to dominate 22 million who don't feel the same way that you do? Oh, Mr. Cuffs, uh, uh, the number doesn't, doesn't mean anything. We uh, have history uh, dating back that uh, just uh, less people than that. Even the people that uh, dominated in the world today, your own race, they was not uh, started with even 100,000, only 59,000 was used to make uh, your own world. It don't make any difference about the number. It's only the one that uh, believing in the honest about accomplishing the aim and the purpose. If you had your... So it's uh, past midnight. Past, been past midnight. Clock struck midnight. Before 2020 came in. But the darkest hours are before the dawn. It's time for us to separate. Don't let nobody change your mind. Unite. Put your resources together. Get you, have you some armies in each of your neighborhoods. Good research. Do your own research. Don't let nobody come and do the research for you. We got to be the real news now. Can't rely on the fake news. Stay tuned for tomorrow.